traders from across the globe. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar's 714th installment, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are videos to help train you to learn technical analysis of the futures markets. Traders, as we know, technical analysis and trading markets is extremely risky. Futures trading is risky. It can cause substantial financial loss. I have been trading and analyzing markets my entire life. I put in, I can't tell you how many hours a day. Traders do not be misinformed. If you are not willing to put the time in, you will never get this right. This is not an easy game. No one out there should think that you're just going to jump in this and win. But if you work at your analysis and you study these markets hard and long, you will find that the analysis will give you a handle on where the market should go next. Traders, this video is being filmed on Wednesday for trading Thursday. That would be March 31st, the end of the month, the end of the quarter, 2011. Before I go any further, Oriel Morrison from CNBC, thank you so much for having me on your show this evening. I love being on your show. Thank you for every time that you've had me. Ed Schultz. The Ed Show. Hey, Ed, thank you for posting my Neil Cavuto video. The interview I do with Neil Cavuto gets posted on Ed Schultz's website. So thank you, Ed Schultz. Ed, I wouldn't mind at all being on your show. If you'd like to discuss what I spoke about to Neil Cavuto, I'd love to come on your show and speak to you about that. I think your fans would love to hear a little bit more about speculators in crude and the, the sword that they wield, the power that speculators have in the crude, which basically in turn wrecks world economies when they take the crude too high. I don't think these speculators even realize the power that they wield. I'd love to discuss that with you on your show, Ed. Um, all right, traders, let's get moving. What do we have on the board? We have two Omnis out there, baby. Not one, two. Yes, two Omnis. We got a green Omni for the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell, the Tranny, the package of indices, and go Green Omni. Also on the board, a rare occasion, but there's a Red Omni, and that Red Omni is simply for U.S. dollars and 30-year T-bonds, which are looking quite weak. So we have indices looking strong for tomorrow, or today, I should say, and we have U.S. dollar index and T-bonds looking weak. Traders, that makes a lot of sense because if we are going to have a strong stock market, likelihood is you're still going to have weak dollars and weak bonds as this market continues to move higher. That should also mean the euro goes higher, so keep your eyes on all of those markets. All right, traders, it is midweek. It is Wednesday. We're doing this video for Thursday, so I will waste no time with you at all. Let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, does this chart look familiar? I know, I know, Oscar, not that chart again. But hey, technical analysis is repetitive patterns, things that you see over and over again. And when you see them again, you react to them. Traders, the 65% rule, the false breakout, that worked so well, we blew out. This was a perfect technique. The technique was quite successful. And the stock market has been following this rally ever since. Remember... The leader of U.S. indices is the Dow Jones Transportation Average. Since this day that it broke out of the pennant, it has been taking the stock market higher and higher. And we have a green omni for tomorrow, so I do not think this goes away on Thursday. Let's look at another chart. Okay, traders, you've seen the leader. That was the Transportation Average. Now you're looking at the NASDAQ, the secondary leader. Look at this beautiful bull flag. The market broke out above it on Wednesday. I would think on Thursday you will go even higher, and by Friday you should be sitting somewhere up here. Indicators are bullish. That flag is bullish. This channel is bullish. you got to love the indices here. This is a clean breakout of a bull flag. The bull flag's in red. We broke out of it very cleanly. Very nice-looking chart inside the parallel channel. What's more, we maintained above the Omni average, and now we are starting to go. So go NASDAQ, secondary leader. Let's look at another chart. Okay, traders, the third leader on our board is the Russell 2000. The Russell looks like a one-way street, baby. Ever since it got above this parallel channel, it has just been taking off. 
It has created a new parallel channel, which is steeper and will take us higher. Indicators are bullish. You gotta love the Russell. It has been acting really, really well lately. Russell, take us home, baby. Higher and higher we should go. Let's look at another chart. Okay, trade is the one we love to trade. The ES, the June E-mini daily bar chart. You should recall this chart because about seven days ago I had it in a video and this circle I put in and it was empty. None of these bars existed. And I said the 1330s with some question marks. Since then, we've had this bar, this bar, this bar, this bar, this bar, and this bar. We are populating this right shoulder of the inverted head and shoulders just as Omni suspected we would when we drew in this empty circle. Traders, if this does turn out to be an inverted head and shoulders, projections are for much, much higher just based on this formation alone. So as you can see, the indices are looking fantastic here. Let's go look at another chart. Okay, traders, let's step this out a little bit now. Let's look at a weekly bar chart of the FTSE. The Financial Times Stock Exchange or the London Bourse, if you will. Traders, the FTSE in a wonderful parallel channel on the weekly. Look what happens when you hit this trend line. You get a massive rally. Well, we just hit the trend line and we have started that rally. If you ask me, it will take us much higher as this year progresses. So even on a weekly, our indices, world indices and U.S. indices look fantastic. So we are still buying any major pullbacks in world indices. Let's look at another chart, traders. Okay, traders, staying with the weekly bar charts. Now we are looking at T-bonds. This is an upright head and shoulders on a weekly, quite meaningful. Shoulder, head, shoulder. You'll notice that this shoulder could not get above the Omni average. When it did, it put it ahead. When it got back, back down below the Omni average, it stayed below. Now we are beginning to break down. We're breaking down out of this bear flag right here. We settled here on Wednesday. I say the bonds get cracked on Thursday and Friday. Traders, you got to love the way this bond looks for the downside. And I think that the bonds going down bodes well with the indices rallying. So that weekly chart makes perfect sense. Now you're looking at a head and shoulders, right? There should be an outcome on a weekly chart once you create a head and shoulders. The next chart should show you what that outcome will likely be. Okay, traders, the world crumbling dollar index. The dollar index on a weekly chart. Shoulder, head, shoulder. What happens next? The breakdown is starting to happen here, traders. This formation is bearish and will point to the downside. Now look at what's starting to happen. We are starting to see a weaker dollar. A weaker dollar means stocks are cheaper. If you are a trader who is not in the United States, you look at our stocks and our cheap dollar, and even if our stocks are getting expensive, they look cheap to you if you're a European. So you got to expect that they will come in and buy more U.S. stocks. The further our dollar gets driven down, the quicker they will plow into the U.S. stock market. So traders, this is what happens after a head and shoulders gets developed on a weekly bar chart. That is what I'm expecting in bonds. Take a look at those charts for yourselves. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own homework, look at your dailies and your weeklies. Compare them to the analysis you see in this video. So, traders, you've seen the charts. Now, I know some of you are going to say, Oscar, there's a report coming out tomorrow morning. I'm not doing nothing before the report. Remember this. The fundamentals always come out in the charts first. I have shown that to you and unequivocally proven it to you in hundreds upon hundreds of these YouTube videos. So put your orders in, put your trades on, let the reports come out because they are already built into the charts. 99% of the times when reports come down the line, it's already built into the charts. Believe in your charts, read them for what they are, let the news and fundamentals take care of itself. Okay, traders, so if you like the analysis that you've seen in this video, come on down to my site. It's livewithoscar.com. When you get there, if you'd like to spend four days with me in a training session, I hold something called OmniCamp here every couple of months. OmniCamp will be held at the end of May when you get to my site. Fill out the OmniCamp application, and starting April, I will begin calling each and every one of you and personally qualifying you to see if you make the cut to come to OmniCamp. 
We only take six people at a time, traders. We used to take a lot more. I like cutting it down. I love the intimacy of just having a handful of you with me for four days. So fill out those applications. It allow me to qualify you. The first five or six guys that qualify are the only ones that will make it to this Omnicamp. Make sure you fill out your applications. All right, traders. Give me a call anytime, Darren, at 702-629-4755. Make sure you come to the site. Come to my chat rooms. They are trading rooms. They are professional trading rooms, and it is free for you. So come on down to the site. How could it hurt you to jump into a free chat room and hang out with me, right? What's the worst that could happen? You go, hi, Oscar. I hate you. Got to go. You know what I mean? It's the worst that you can say if you don't like me. So come on down and see if I can help you become a better analyst. Okay, traders, I'm out of here. Make sure you keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with keeping your emotions at bay is to say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stop sorry. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.